So hey YouTube, we're back with another episode of the Yoda Project. Right here we have the we have the donor car right here, and we got Sweet Pea sitting right behind her. Uh, today we're going to work on getting the interior out of the donor car. Uh, we want to get all the interior uh, out today, preferably, and uh, we'll go from there. so we're inside the car right now and what you're going to need to get the driver's side seat out is a 14 millimeter wrench go ahead and set it down here so you guys can see where the first uh where the first bolt is it's right here and then there's another located just over here on the other side of the seat right next to the shifter and the e-brake there's another one there and then there's two more in the back Okay, so in order to remove the bolts from the rear of the seat, what you're going to want to do is slide the seat all the way forward so you can get over the top of the two bolts. Uh, there's one, once again, located near the center console, and then another one located near the driver's side door. Okay, so once we get those out, I'll go ahead and pull the seat out and show you guys what that looks like. All right, so we got the driver's side seat out. A um, little bit dirtier underneath the seat than I thought it was going to be, but... <laughs> we got the driver's side seat out and that's what it looks like guys uh, We're gonna go ahead and move on over to the passenger seat and then we'll work on the back Now in order to remove the passenger side seat, you're gonna want to do the exact same thing There's a 14 millimeter bolt right here located next to the shifter and another one located near the door. Okay, so Once you remove these two bolts, you're gonna want to slide the seat all the way forward That way you can get to the two rear bolts Okay, so once again, we're in the back seat. We're at the rear of the passenger side. Once again, there's two 14 millimeter bolts, one right here and one right here. One is located near the center console. The other one is located near the passenger side door. Go ahead and remove those two bolts and then you can go ahead and pull the seat out. All right, all right, all right. So we got the uh, driver's side and the passenger side seat already out. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and work on the rear seat. There's a little bit of a trick to the rear seat. Um, a lot of the times I've had a hard time with the little pull tabs that are here. So really you don't want to break them. If you break these little pull tabs that are located just below the front of the seat, if you break those little tabs, you'll you'll have a really, really hard time getting the seat out. Um, so just don't force them, whatever you do. Wiggle the seat a little bit if you have to, and you'll find a little bit of a sweet spot to where you can just pull those tabs right out and uh, the seat will pop up and then you can start removing the bolts for the for the backrest okay so we'll get right back so once you get those tabs to let loose for you and you pull the rear seat out it just pops right up and it comes right out <laughs> you're gonna have to switch your 14 millimeter socket over to a 12 millimeter socket and what you're gonna want to do there's one bolt located right down here and another bolt located right down over here one nearest the driver's side door and one nearest the passenger side door so what you're going to want to do is remove those two bolts and then very easily very slowly start lifting upwards on the entire seat towards the rear windshield <coughs> and by doing so it'll it'll come off of the clips and you should be able to pull the seat right out so now that we've got the rear seat out, I was going to go ahead and start with removing all the door trims and the seat belts and whatnot. 
in the center console in order to pull the carpet out but instead of doing so I'm gonna hit this carpet with a good vacuum cleaning and see just how good the carpet is because if the carpets any better inside of sweet pea I really don't want to have to pull this carpet out and swap it in there for something that just does not look as good so <clears throat> I'm gonna hit this with a quick vacuum really quick and give you guys a look see what it looks like Okay, so we got the carpet uh, all nice and fairly cleaned up with the vacuum. And honestly, I feel like the carpet that I have inside of Sweet Pea already is, is in a little bit better condition than what, what we have going on in here. So what we're going to go ahead and start working on next is the door panels. The interior door panels are going to come off and those will get ready to go inside of Sweet Pea. So we're going to go ahead and start removing the door panels. And there's two things you're going to need to go ahead and get this done. You're going to need a number two size screwdriver and you're going to need a door regulator clip remover. Why the name is so long, I'm not sure. You could have just called it a clip remover and people would get the idea, right? But anyways, um, the clip remover is actually for the, the window regulator, the window handle. There's actually a little clip right behind there that you use this hook for. You get behind it, you pull up on that clip and it'll allow the the door regulator handle to go ahead and come off. So we're going to go ahead and do that. <laughs> and then you're also going to want the number two screwdriver to remove this screw from inside of the of the door handle. And you're going to want to remove the two screws located right below the armrest. pretty easy. Um, another thing you're going to want to do is you don't want to lose that plastic washer. If you lose that plastic washer that's located behind the door handle, um, what's going to happen is you're going to have a lot of slop and play in there in your handle and you just don't want that. So go ahead and set those things down there. Go ahead and remove the screw from the door handle. Don't lose that. Once you remove that screw, the back plate for the door handle will just come right off. So removing the two screws for the armrest is fairly easy. You just got to have quite a long screwdriver to get in there. This would probably be a lot faster and a lot easier if you had a drill. So let me go ahead and grab one. Now that I've got my drill, one thing you're going to want to notice is that I have an extension for it. That's all because you need to have enough length in order to get inside the door rest. So now that we got our door rest off, <laughs> you want to very, very gently pull out from the very edges starting at the bottom of the door panel. You want to go ahead and start pulling out on all the edges and you'll start hearing it pop. That'll be the clips pulling out of the door <laughs> that are attached to the actual panel itself.
So one thing that I did forget to remove is um, the mirror plate that's inside here. This, you know, the manual mirror control. It gets in the way, you need to remove the plate in order to get the door panel off. And that's it, the door panel is off. Go ahead and repeat that process on all four doors and you'll be good to go. So now that we've gotten all the interior door panels and all the seats out of it, I think we've pretty much got everything that we're gonna use as far as the interior goes on Sweet Pea. So we're gonna go ahead and call it quits for today. Don't forget to like, comment, or subscribe. All your guys' feedback is more than welcome. Uh, let me know if there's anything better that I could do for my videos or help explain things a little better. Just go ahead and let me know. Once again, thank you for visiting with the Yoda Project and we'll get back with you guys in a few days uh, for the front clip removal.